I mean, what I told you guys earlier, I just want to be honest and tell you guys that I'm Jason. You're Jason. And Rio is Jason too. Half of Jason. Half of Jason. <laughs> Let's just get her on the horn. Hello. Hi, me. Hi, Matt. Hey. hey. We just read your email. Arguably one of the best first lines of an email ever. I need <laughs> help meeting my fiance. <laughs> I proposed to him, and he accepted. So technically, he is my fiance. Cassie, I think it's crazy. I, I can't believe you asked someone to marry you that you've never met over the internet. I disagree. As a hopeless romantic, yeah, I'll throw the heart up. There you go. I think it's amazing. It's a first for us. What do you love so much about him? He's the only person that I can talk to and confide in and tell him everything. Again, back where it all and you tell him that you love him. Yes, we tell each other that we love each other. Love is a fire, love is a fire. You guys have tried to video chat, but it's pretty easy to to figure it out, even if you have to borrow a friend's computer or something. I don't know, I just felt like his attempt was enough. I've never asked him again after that. Honestly, I think I would bet my life on this that Steven Gomez is who he says he is. He's just hiding something. Well, I would love to get to the bottom of it, and more than anything, I'd love to put you and Steve in a room together. I'm gonna come down to Miami. Max, are you gonna come with me? I'm also gonna come Max down. Max is gonna come with me. We're gonna figure this out. I can't wait to see you guys both. Okay, bye, Cassie. Bye. Okay, bye. Wow, who, Cassie. Who gets engaged over the internet? I gotta tell you, I've is. seen people in real life get engaged and married in Vegas in 24 hours. Did you not? I rang the doorbell. Hey guys. Hey guys. What's Tony? Is he here? Yeah. So like his music is adding up to Steve's music. I need to know what's up with that. So like you think it's Tony? Did you know about it? <sighs> Steve, I made up Steve. Steve's me. But the person you've been... That... gonna guess who's Steve. Gladys. Gladys and her cousin. <laughs> yes. All this time. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just did it so she can change. I just try to make a perfect guy, maybe she can have a sense of what a guy is instead of treating her like crap, like all the other ones. But Tony's the one she's been talking to. I'm she, I need to sit down. Is Tony in love with her? He just did it because I asked him to. This is so I'm a joke. I'm a joke. I don't know what to, to tell you, but I mean, you have every right to be furious and feel totally confused and upset and, and maybe even betrayed. What the is up with that? There are a lot of questions I have and I'm sure you have. I do think it's in your best interest to hear what she has to say. Not to say that it's not totally up, but she's involved in this and that she didn't say something sooner.
Show me the phone. I need to see. See the phone. I don't believe, like. You say it's just Steve with a heart. See? Do you know what me and Tony talk about on the phone? We have phone sex, we talk about intimate I'm sorry, but you kept bringing it up and you kept going back down the hill. I didn't want you to be like that. I did it because I love you and because I want you to be a better person than what you were then. So the Steve Facebook profile and the cell phone number. Yes, sir. That's you? Yes. Do you have two cell phones? Yes, I do. And the reason why you didn't see it because they're both white iPhones. And like every time I said, I'm in the studio, I was with you or at work or at school. When she asked you to marry her, why did you say yes? I didn't even say yes. I said OK, because I didn't know what to say. Like, that really surprised the hell out of me, because I think she fell in love with Tony's voice. Where's Tony? He's inside. Do you want to talk to Tony? Yeah. Hello? Tony? Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, Neve. Neve? Um, can we sit down I think for a just second? give them a second. Hey, Tony. I know you have some questions, so... I feel embarrassed and dumb as right now. You and me both. When Neve showed me the, the YouTube clip of you, I was feeling just like you were doing it to get a good laugh. Um, I'm real sorry that you feel that way, because that's the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. I just want you to know that I, I did it because, you know, I care about you. I'm just sorry that I'm not really Steve. I wish I was at this point, you know. Was it all fake? Was our one-on-one -on -one talks real? Like <laughs> it it felt real to me, you know. Um, I'm kinda ready to go home, but I'm kinda having like a heavy heart. I don't think there's anything left for me to say. OK, yeah, we can, we can get out of here. That's what you want. I think you got to just be like really patient now. Yeah, I have such a headache. Get out of my I can't take it anymore right now. <laughs> I just don't want my best friend to hate me. I know she's going to hate me. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. He looks tough in that picture. How you doing? Good. How are you? Can you see uh, everybody? Yes, I see both. I'm Angel. You have to wave back, man. You have to oh. wave back. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how hot is Armani? I would say a nine, so pretty hot. Nine, that's pretty wow. hot. And you have like no ideas or thoughts that she might be fake? None at all, because when I used to play basketball in uh, high school, she went out with one of the guys on the team. He always said he was with her, so I assumed she was like real, like a real person, so. And she looked kinda cute, so I was like, I'm just gonna add her. And she gave me her number. And we started to text a lot. You still haven't been able to meet up with her or something? Where she's at, it's about four and a half hours. And she never wants to, like, Skype. She always says her phones were so bogus, like the camera. 
Like, it's just a lot of excuses. Power to talk to excuses. Now you're at college, and you got all these ladies hollering at you. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> but your heart's tied up with this girl, Armani. When I get open with somebody, I catch feelings really fast. Because I don't just open up just to anybody. But you're willing to take the risk and, and finally sort of find out who this girl is. Yes, I'm willing to take that risk. I mean, you're going to try and put the ball in the hoop. You're going to try to put the ball in her court. Ooh. She'll throw it back to you. Ooh. But I just hope she's real. I hope you get what you want. Like, I really do. We'll see you in a little bit. Right. Some sort of sketch in there. I buzzed. Okay. Hi. Hello. I'm Bebe. Bebe, aka Armani. No, our money's in the inside right now. What the f So you're not Armani? No. She's like very nervous right now. So is she coming out? She'd be out, but like, you guys be like very nice to her. Definitely. Well, now we don't know what the hell is coming out of that house. Just be prepared for anything, man. Crap. Hey! Armani? Yeah. All right. Come on out. Hello. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Can I get a hug? Thank you. How you doing? Good. Oh, can I get another hug? I missed you. Oh. Hello. Tamila? It's Tamila. I thought it was Tamila. No, it's Tamila. This is Angel. Sorry. Hello. Nice to meet you. Here he is. Hey, babe. Was this what you was expecting? You do have a son mm -hmm. named Drew? Mm-hmm. Everything about me is true. Every single thing that I told you. So for, I guess, that picture. You started the Armani page four or five years ago? Mm-hmm. And you used a picture of some girl. Do you know who that is, or? I mean, what made you want to pick that picture? Because she was flea. She was fleeing on that picture. Like, were you ever going to text him and say, hey, I'm not the girl you see in the pictures? Uh, eventually, but that's not what you fell in love with, the picture or me. You know, mentally and emotionally, we had a good connection. But then I thought you were, like, the person in that picture. So I like the physical appearance, too. Yeah. Right. And you thought I was just this light-skinned girl. Five years. I'm dark skin. I ain't light like skin. Not just that. I mean, the you picture know. thing. What he's pissed about right, is that, that like, I pretended to you be pretended her? to be someone else. He didn't say I only like light skinned girls. That's his type. Of thing. <laughs> you seem pretty lighthearted about the whole situation. <laughs> this baby, this is the one you don't like. I don't even know. <laughs> she been on my page, inbox of him. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> So that who the heck is Deshaila? Deshaila, she got the house. You guys have sort of been in on it together for a while. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, since high school. <laughs> when I used to talk to other boys on Facebook, she always had to cover for me so I could look kind of sort of real. Y'all should see her inbox, but um, <laughs> it's real. Oh, it's amazing, though. I, I don't know. really think that <laughs> is petty. <laughs> He's not living his life because you guys are with him on the internet. I it's mean, not fair. It's petty. He, he ain't blocked us though. Life. You do your basketball. Yeah, but he doesn't date girls. He doesn't do anything because he's wrapped up in a telephone conversation with I mean, you, pretending to be someone else. True. No love. No love lost. Except all of it. Can we talk? Just like take a two second break? Here, let's, let's just go regroup. You're being very sweet and hugging her and you actually feel like you're cool and that you want to be friends with her? Just seeing how she was kind of just OK with the whole little situation. It's something that happens every day or something. It's a joke. 
I thought that was his girlfriend. Who is that? Ah, she got me messed up. She tried to treat her off like a boom. I heard you. Bitch, I almost smack your ass. Oh, damn. We're wired. Oh, yeah, we are. Damn. <laughs> okay, I'll walk over. You guys want to come over, chat a little bit more? Is this where you live? Oh, it's my cousin's house. I couldn't go to my house because all the kids there and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. mm. That's all you want to say, Harold? Marvin? Hello? Hello. Hi, Marvin. Wow, nice to meet you. This is Chantal. Hi. She is going to be filling in for me. Oh, OK. We have a lot of questions for you. Start from the beginning and tell us how you came to be where you are. Well, Max, I've been in St. Louis all my life. But um, in the summer, my mother decided to move to Joplin. And uh, in me, this coming to this new place, you know, a small town, I was trying to like make some new friends and uh, I met Austin. It started off on Grindr. We flirted here and there. We've actually transferred phone numbers. So I got a chance to speak to him and text him. We've been talking for three months now. That's a long time to talk to someone who's in the same town as you and not meet them. He's always busy when I give him the chance. It's, it's always something. When you go on Grindr, isn't it all like geo-located? Like, are, can't you kind of like see if he's in the area? It's at two miles from me. Oh my gosh, so, you could walk to him. Yeah. I mean, you've seen our show before. You know that sometimes that people aren't what they say they are. So how important is it that he is who he says he is? Um, if he doesn't come out looking like how he say he is, I, I'm not going away from him. Well, look, if you like this guy and you guys have a great connection, you should find out who he is. He only lives two miles away. We should just come over to your house and, and kind of get the rest of the scoop and start trying to figure out who Austin is. Please. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to come meet you. All right, Marvin, stay where you are. We will be at your house shortly. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello. How you doing? Good. Isaiah? Yeah, I'm Isaiah, uh, Kurt's boyfriend. Marvin? Yes? I'm Isaiah. Nice to finally meet you. So, Austin's not a real person. I'm aware of that. Kurt is behind it. So, um, Kurt is the one who's been operating the profile? Yeah. He's evidently pretending to be someone else, and I, I don't know why. I wish I knew why. It would make my situation a lot easier. Once I found out about it, I tried to, you know, put a stop to all of this. And I am truly, from the bottom of my heart, you can't understand, I am so sorry for what he's put you through. I hope to see him. I think we better go pay Kurt a visit. He went to a friend's house, and he knows you guys are here. He has to know you guys are coming. OK. Do you want me to text you the address? Yeah, that'd be great. Bye, thank you. I don't like my feelings being played like that in my time. Guys, I'm actually seeing on this map that we can just walk. OK. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm ready for this to get over with. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Hi, uh, Kurt? No, I'm Jason. You're Jason. Is Kurt here? Yeah, just a second. Thanks. Who was that? I don't know. Hi there. Well, are you Kurt? Yeah, I'm Kurt. I want to introduce you to Marvin. Hi there. I'm Kurt. Kurt. Why'd you lie to me? Well. I, you weren't really talking to me. What do you mean I wasn't? <laughs> Ooh, uh, OK. Can you guys explain what's going on here? 
I knew about the profile. I even helped create the profile. So you're actually talking with Kylie. What? I actually have spoken to you on the phone before. This is the sister. All of us had the password to the profile. All of us saw every message. Are you the only people involved in this, or are there more people? Uh, no. Involved in the profiles, that was just us. But how can yeah. you justify go, go that? Go back to the beginning and, and explain this. I need to get all the facts here. Originally, the profile was created to, to bust cheaters. <laughs> that was the entire... That was the intent. Well, I wasn't cheating on anyone. You unfortunately got caught in the crossfire, and we started talking to you quite a bit. And um, I guess we liked you. How did you guys do it? I made the Facebook profile. I didn't talk to anyone on any of the profiles. So that was just Kylie. She liked talking to Marvin. What did you have to do with it? I found people to target. Because you somehow knew which guys were probably cheating on their boyfriends. I had a feeling. Even though we have hurt you, we really care about you. That's it? That's all you guys got? How many other Marvins are there? There was probably only about 10 to 15 that held conversations. Wait, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. And 15 Marvins. No, Not, no I wouldn't you say talk that. to them. You're the only person we have a friendship with. But that's, well, it depends what you call a friendship. Just for morbid curiosity, what did you do when you found out that someone was kind of flirting extracurricularly? Did you out them? We outed one person. So one person for all the Marvins and whoever else you guys were dragging through this, you got one person? Yes. Yeah. It's a lot of collateral damage, don't you think, for, for one, one right. victory? I feel like I've been tormented for the past three months. Y'all playing with my feelings. What made you think that all this was real? I don't know, I was giving it a chance. It, it's not fair, it's not fair that I get taunted with saying, why do you think this is real? Why are you making this account? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand the question. Why wouldn't he think this was real? Do you really think that somebody like that would live here? That's not what we're talking that's, about. That's, that's, that is, that's not. I wouldn't be so ready to be sending pictures and stuff like that. And You're not about to blame the victim here, are you? Because that sounds like where you're going with no. this, and that would no. be really f***ed up. I think that's what he needs to know. Well, well I think he can not, come to that his own conclusion not, himself. Right. That's yeah, not your not job. In, you're not in the position to teach him any lessons right now. Then why do you show your pictures and stuff like you that? You entrapped him. I get it. Yeah. Really Am I in crazy I world? I because I want you to listen. But that's what I want you to know for me. That's I understand I'm what you're saying. At least I am honest. You found a vulnerable guy who had just moved to town. You're you're tempting him with a good-looking guy, and you're asking for pictures, and then you're gonna blame the person that you're seducing. Well, none of our you're attention shaming was him for shaming. falling into but a trap. I don't feel like anything we could say to you is gonna make you feel any make better. Make you feel better. And that's probably correct. All right. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Jesus Christ. What assholes? That. Oh, Lord. They Max. made us look a lot worse. Yeah, Max was pretty harsh. Harvey, what did you think it was going to be? I mean, we were f***ing with people. What do you think? They're going to be nice about it? Yeah. Seriously. Hey, Hello. all right. Wow. This is much so, better. So, OK, so Brooklyn. Obviously, Allie kind of filled us in on some of the basic plot points of your relationship with Jason. but. Yeah. Can you kind of just go back to when you met him and, and how the relationship evolved over the last year? Well, so I was on Plenty of Fish app and I had a message from Jason. I mean, we immediately hit it off. He was like the perfect guy. He was a hard worker. The way that he took care of his son, he seemed like a great father. We exchanged numbers and we texted every single day. We were constantly texting 24-7. He said, I love you. I mean, it was very, very serious. Like, he knew things about me, and he remembered hmm. them, and that was really important for me. And did you guys ever make plans to meet up? Um, I did tell Jason, you know, right about this time was when COVID started getting really bad. And he said that he was an EMT. He was, like, an essential worker, so he was working seven days a week. I was like, you know, I want to meet, but I understand, like, things are crazy right now in the world, and, you know, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt to meet me. We were supposed to meet for my birthday, which was in the middle of May. 
it was like the week of, and he wound up saying he had to work. It was mandatory. He couldn't get off. And I decided that it was best that we just stop talking because I didn't want to be in a relationship with somebody that I hadn't met or that I hadn't had a chance oh. to. Yeah, like, like he wouldn't call me on the phone ever. <laughs> Can you show us some of the conversations you're having with him? Like, Yeah. So this is the first time he reached out. So you only speak over text. Yeah. Mm hmm But Jason, he has social media. He no. does not. None. Nothing. What? So that was another thing that I'm like, mm, I don't yeah. know. But he said that he just didn't like technology that much. Like he wasn't really in, he didn't really like to have all of it. But um, I did ask him to send me a picture with my name on a piece of paper because I was like, I want to make sure that you're, you know, this person. And I did get one. And this is the same one he had sent. Yeah, that is the picture. Yeah. I mean, it does look handwritten. The picture seemingly pretty convincing. But he's so friendly. He's a handsome guy, too. Could your kid's father have anything to do with what's going on right now? Um, I honestly don't think so. I mean, we get along great, and he couldn't keep up with it, right. honestly. Is there is there anyone in your life that you could think of that's like pursuing you or had pursued you unsuccessfully? Okay, so in January, I was on the Plenty of Fish app, and a guy named Carlos messaged me. I did meet Carlos in person once, and we hit it off real good. But he was living with a girl named Kara, and... And they were in a relationship? No, roommate situation. They're just roommates? Yes, but Kara had a best friend named Rio. And during the time of me talking to Carlos, I was getting a lot of harassment from these girls. Because they didn't want you talking to Carlos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. How'd you get caught up in this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's too pretty. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I was just, you know, like, this is a really crazy and everything that's going on, I think it's just better if we be friends. Um, so we kind of disagreed on that. But then Carlos and I continued to talk just as friends and that was pretty much the end of it. Couldn't Carlos be Jason? Maybe it is Carlos. Maybe he got upset at the fact that things couldn't work out, so he found a different way. Within two days of me stopping talking to Carlos, I did start talking to Jason. So, I mean, it was pretty quick. But and he, it was on the same app. Yeah. Would you be willing to forget about the guy that you're dating now for Jason? I like the guy I'm talking to. Things are going really good, but I really don't know what the future holds as far as Jason and me, because I did share a lot of intimate things with this person. At the end of the day, I want to know who Jason is. All right, well, so I guess we got to See if we can dig a little deeper here. Send us what you have. Let us do a little research. Hopefully, you know, we can find something. All right, um, perfect. Allie, thank you for bringing in the big dogs. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thanks, Allie. Good luck. Bye. Woo! Woo! So, what do you think? You got a picture of his name, and it's just like, it looks legit, but like, I do not see this Jason person adding up to what he's been saying. Oh! Hey! Hi. Both of you are here. Do you guys live together? Because you guys are together now? Yeah. Got it. So what's up, Rio? How are you? Um, I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Good nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yep. Nice to meet you, too. This is Cammie, as you know, Hi, probably. So, Rio, you just texted me and said that you spoke to Kara and that you figured we would want to talk. Basically, I, I talked to Kara and I figured you guys would, you know, reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Why, but why did you think that? Um, just the conversation that she told me you guys had. Uh-huh. Kind of gave me an idea that you'd reach out to me or us. Okay, well, obviously, we're still trying to figure this whole thing out, but we've got some puzzle pieces that aren't quite fitting. Um, and so I, so before I launch into some questions, is there anything that, that you guys want to say just to kind of like steer this conversation one way or the other? Um, go right ahead, Kim. Go ahead. 
Kara, I think this one's on you, baby. I mean, what I told you guys earlier, I just want to be honest and tell you guys that I'm Jason. You're Jason. And Rio is Jason, too. Half of Jason. Half of Jason. Uh huh. Can you guys just take us back and explain how, how did we get here? So Brooklyn, I reached out to Brooklyn as myself. She wouldn't, she wouldn't hear me out and couldn't get her to stop talking to Carlos. So I made a fake page on POF, started writing her. So the idea was to... To, to, to get revenge on Brooklyn. But Carlos describes your connection and your sort of living situation very differently than you do, Kara. He says that he was your friend and that you offered to let him move in as a roommate. Well, I mean, there was many a times Carlos was like, you know, we're gonna be in a, we're gonna be in a relationship, you know. He would tell my family that we was together. He would tell my friends that we was together. But when it come to like other females, we was not together. Yeah. Right. Well, you said that Carlos was talking to a lot of girls. So why Brooklyn specifically? Reaching out to the other girls, they kind of like, you know, fell back. Brooklyn, she kept coming and coming and coming and coming and it never stopped until Jason. She didn't care how long they talked and I was her. She just kept being a home wrecking hoe. Full disclosure, Brooklyn has been on the call the entire time. Oh, hell no. All right, so look, I think we should clear all this up, answer any questions anyone has so that you guys can stop messing around with each other and wasting your time with this whole nonsense. I mean, at the end of the day, you hurt me, I hurt you. I reached out to you at me. You wouldn't understand where I was coming from. You wanted to keep coming in my relationship, my friendship, whatever you and Carlos wanted to call it. So that was the only way to get you and Carlos to stop talking. It worked, I went through with it. And then you guys fell off because Jason was telling you everything Carlos was not telling you. None of that happened. Carlos and I fell off for different reasons, not because of Jason. For the simple fact of that it was so much drama with Carlos. Right. Did Carlos know about Jason that you guys were behind this? No. Mm -hmm. Carlos was not lying. And so who's the guy in the pictures? Because you guys must know that guy. We don't we know don't. him. We so, reached out to him on Facebook. Well, we filled his pictures off his page. And so I wrote the guy. I found out that my boyfriend was talking to another female. So I made a fake page with your picture and I wrote her in hopes of getting her to stop texting him. Well, it worked and now I'm in too deep and she wants a picture of me in parentheses you holding up a piece of paper that says her name on it. And he said, what's her name? I said, Brooklyn. And he sent the picture. Wow. So you just basically came clean and told him. Yeah, basically. I'm moving on. I have a relationship. Why did Jason message me, you know, a couple weeks ago and then a month ago, you know, like, why are, were you still trying to get into my life about things? I think we were just bored. What the f is wrong with you girls? Was it just like, just just for the fun of the drama of like messing with her They're in bored. the middle of the night? They were bored. Okay. They wanted to have a good time. Yeah, that's what I've said, like. At Brooklyn's right. expense. It's messed up and wrong. Thank you, Neve. thank you. You didn't just hurt me. I mean, you guys definitely harassed me. None of that is okay. It was never supposed to go on as long as it did. Ever. Ever. But, I mean, after we did start talking, it was just something I, I mean, I mean, it was a routine. I woke up and done it every day for, what, two, three months? Three months. Thing is, Rio and Kara, it didn't need to ever happen this way. How, how old are, how old? I'm 27. 23. I'm 28. Okay, you guys, we are, we are growing ladies, women. Mm -hmm. We gotta grow the up, we gotta get the This is not, we're supposed to be coming together. We're not supposed to be doing all of this Especially not over some boy who's not even acting right. True, at the end of the day, it wasn't her fault. So uh, it, I feel like it should have been directed more towards Carlos, and we will admit that. And, uh, you know, there's really nothing else to say about that, except I want to apologize to you, Brooklyn. I mean, at the end of the day, all we can say is we're sorry. Yeah. I just want to know this is all going to stop. I don't want things to continue. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, most definitely and it's over and done with. Like, yeah. 
I feel bad about it now because at the end of the day, you are really a sweet person. You are a good person. I don't have anything bad to say about you. you know, I appreciate that. All right, well, look, I hope that at the very least, it sounds like we've squashed any beef. There's no bad blood here. Bye, Brooklyn. Sorry again. I understand. Goodbye, Nave. God bless right. me. Bye, Rio. Bye, Bye Carol. Thank you, guys. Hi, 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 girls. I don't like them. <laughs> I understand. I understand why you wouldn't like them. I think they're just ready to be done with this. Yeah. I kind of get that feeling too. I just hope that nothing continues. I don't want any more random messages. <laughs> Case closed. Thank you guys. Seriously. I appreciate it. <laughs>